just a quick tour tutorial on the Inkbird humidity controller um, and just like the temperature uh, controller from Inkbird if you don't get through it in the time that it allows it'll time out and you've got to go through the whole process and start again so I'm gonna kind of ramble pretty quickly as I do it hopefully you get to keep up so we'll make sure we add some descriptions guys this is the humidity controller right here currently is default factory set to uh, RH of 50 um, inside our tank currently is 40 you can see here so we're going to change that because 50 is a little bit too low for our blue dream so now we're in set mode so we're going to take it up and we want to hit ours to 60 and the RH for anyone that isn't up on it is the relative humidity and uh, all plants require humidity to grow so this is the humidity differential so this is how far do I how many percent do I want the humidity to drop before I have the humidifier kicking on and look there we go let it time out so we'll start again so with the differential I don't want it to drop that far before I have it to kick on because basically I want a fairly tight range of humidity for my plants to absorb all that beautiful moisture so I'm going to drop that differential down to two and then there's a dehumidifier differential we currently don't have a dehumidifier in here we don't need one at this point but we'll keep that at two as well this is an alarm alarm high for the humidity we are in veg state 60 is ideal but if it gets too high you start to have wilting issues mold mildew etc so i'm going to hit it at 80 so and a little alarm will go off the humidity gets too high and we can come and rescue and open the tent door and do what we need to do if you have a dehumidifier plugged in as well which we currently don't because we're not in flower um it basically corrects itself so usually the alarm never goes off because these little controllers are magic yeah and they this control is yeah that's everything. right it's a set it and forget it process guys it really is uh obviously humidifier tanks a certain size so you have to keep filling it and this is the humidity low and this is really um you you fill your tank on your humidifier and if your alarm goes off on for your low and i set mine like 10 15 degree uh, uh percent below 60 and it'll uh, go off and i definitely know my tank is empty and needs a refill so we set our humidity, desired humidity at 60, and I'm going to set the alarm at 45. So if it drops too far, we're good to go. Again, uh, as with the temperature, this is all to do with the compressor on uh, any uh, equipment that has a compressor built into it. We do not, so we can skip through that. And I uh, missed it. <laughs> so, like I said, guys, it doesn't take long. And babbling on like I am, whew, I do nickname him the Rambling Man. It's true. <laughs> he oh, gives you all the good details, though. Most of the time. <laughs> Information you, you need eventually. All right. Dehumidifier. Down to two. We, we, actually, we don't have a dehumidifier plugged into this. Not yet. As well as our Inkbird heating one, we don't have a um, heater or an air conditioner plugged into it. My heater is on the way. Thank you, Amazon Basics. <laughs> We've never used their their uh, Amazon Basic heater, but it was a good deal, and we thought we'd give it a shot. So, by the way, guys, we're in a uh, 32 inch by 32 inch tent. So yeah. this little thing is fairly small, and um, so you know. A lot of humidity really isn't necessary. A lot of heat really isn't necessary. And it's also inside our house, so it maintains a fair amount of humidity and temperature from the environment inside the house. However, uh, our other tents, which you will see on our other videos, are in our garage, which our garage is not heated. Um, the only heat that is in there are the ones that are in the tent, and our, our tents run like atop they're perfect out there Thank all thanks too. to these inkbird oh, controllers yeah. so we love definitely them. worth a purchase we love them 
There are certain pieces of equipment that absolutely, um, I will say, not only is it set it for, oh look, the alarm's off because, well, the humidity is too low inside the tent, the door is open, we're just setting it up. Yeah. So I press set to quiet the alarm, and now, if you look in the tent, we're going to see the humidifier light has actually come on, and we're going to start to get steam out of that real soon. So this is our tent. You guys can check out for our, our updated Blue Dream Project Tent. This is our Blue Dream Worm Farm Project Tent. Please ignore the couch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we got to be lazy somewhere. <laughs> Might as well be by this beautiful setup. That's it. So check out our other videos um, as well as these controllers. We bought them off of Amazon. Yep. We actually got a really good deal. They have good we got them on, on these things all the time. Yeah. We've got a combination kit, the two for one and i i'm not sure i think we paid canadian like 87 bucks or something like that for both of them thank you black friday deals but absolutely. yeah absolutely canadian average price without a normal um without any discounts the normal price i think it's like 104 dollars or something yeah we bought a few sets uh this was the best deal we've ever gotten yeah. so grab your I set of pair guys and enjoy happy growing happy growing guys peace